because plants and animals can reproduce doesn't mean that agriculture is automatically sustainable. And our own health and survival can also depend on good agricultural and fishing practices. Chef Sheldon Raju is a dedicated advocate for local and sustainable food, which he features in today's menu. As you can see, I am in the most beautiful place in the world, South Coast KwaZulu-Natal. Marigolds, that's what we're here to celebrate, the golden theme, the golden colours. I got some great dishes lined up for you, celebrating our golden theme. Firstly, I'm going to just teach you a bit how to husk some corn. If you've never done this before, I strongly suggest you get to your local farmer, get some real organic corn and husk away. And just two hands. My corn is done, as you can see. I've just pulled it all back and I've got this nice little spiky bit now. What we're just going to do is a very simple plait and we're just going to go over, get that all done and tie a little knot at the end here, pop them in. Next is going to go in my butter, lots of salt so that it's nicely seasoned right through and finally a few sprigs of rosemary. Lid back on. Well, that's busy on the go. I'm just going to carry on with our dessert, which is a, a beautiful marigold lemon posset. So my pan, I've just moved back onto a heat here, a little pan to get my milk and my cream ready for my lemon posset. I'm going to use a beautiful Madagascan uh, vanilla pod, which is one of my favorite ingredients to use. I'm going to get that scraped into now into my milk and just going to set it onto my heat. Add your cream your milk and your sugar as well and then let's get that onto the heat it's very important here we don't want our cream to be boiling and denature we just want it to gently simmer all we're doing right now is infusing the vanilla and melting the sugar i'm going to get my lemons ready also beautiful golden just going to cut them in half here and you roughly need about 425 moles of lemon juice fantastic this is ready Ah, my lemon juice I'm gently going to pour in as well. Very gently so it doesn't split. Just pour him into my little bowl that I'm going to be setting him into. Let's get this into the fridge and this can get set. My next little process is my golden couscous. I'm just going to season mine with a little bit. I strongly suggest you season from the beginning as well. That flavour just penetrates and we all know salt is flavour. A little bit of my sea salt that's just going to go in here. We're going to pour the boiling water, let it sit, cover it with some cling foil, and then once it's done, we're just going to work it with a fork, get all those crunchy little bits coming out, so they're nice and smooth and fluffy little couscous. That's what you want. Don't overcook it. Give it a nice, firm wrap so there's no gaps. Great. After two to three minutes, that should be ready. In the meantime, I've just decided to toast some almonds in a pan here. I love that little toastiness into my couscous, gives a little texture, some crunch. And yep, I'm going to go in a nice little handful. I've got some dried mangoes. And uh, next, some fresh herbs. And then I'm just going to grab my mangoes, chuck the whole lot in there. Final almonds go in. Since I'm out here, what other better garnish other than these beautiful marigolds that are just growing all around me? This looks delicious already. Add a little lemon zest. Guys, and that's done. It looks fantastically beautiful, golden, delicious. I can't wait to tuck into this. So we're in our last little stretch for our golden mile. And uh, what other better way to end the dish off with a golden, beautiful chicken. So I'm just gonna flip my chicken onto its breast, backside facing over. Grab my kitchen scissors here, cut down the backbone all the way through. And now once he's cut, just gonna pop him open and we're gonna start seasoning. A little bit of masalas, a little bit of my special Malaysian rub, turmeric, of course some salt, and then a little drizzle of ghee. Already it looks like the colors of the sunset, it's so beautiful. Flipping them over and we're gonna repeat. And we're ready to pop this bad boy onto the grill. This last little bit of juice inside here, we're actually going to scrape him all up with our trusty spatula. And just pour him on the top here as well. Get that flavor going. Just be careful with the ghee, your flame is going to go quite high, so just keep an eye on it. You don't want to burn your chicken, but you also want to get it nice and crispy. After flipping the chicken, Sheldon removed the corn cobs from the heat. 
my golden brown chicken is almost done. I'm just gonna have a quick little look-see. Oh, oh, it's looking great, guys. He's almost there. In the meantime, I'm just gonna finish off my lemon posset. I've got some pomegranate seeds, some coconut flakes that have been lightly toasted, and then some marigolds for some garnish. Of course, we couldn't leave them out of our golden theme for today. And voila. I'm gonna pop my corn back on just to reheat it. Being outdoors in nature, you know how much I love this, and it's really special for me to share these special moments with you as well. Uh, I hope you get brave, I hope you get out there, you get some couscous, some golden chicken, lemon posset. As you can see, my golden corn is almost ready to come out here. So I'm just gonna pop that off the fire, sprinkle some of my parmesan on, there we go. A few little garnishes, marigolds, and our golden feast is done. I wish you were here to share this with me. I'm gonna dash off, get carving on my chicken and start dishing out some happy meals.